Hello YouTube, this is DXLinkJ here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a mod called Single Player Commands. Um, please note, before we begin, we begin this is for Beta 1.6.6, 6, uh, which came out today. I am, uh, before you begin installing any mods, uh, make sure Minecraft is not open. Uh, you, I recommend making a backup in case you mess up. Make a backup of your files, and uh, and I have a completely clean jar right now with no mods installed, no mods that are enabled. So we're starting from scratch. So let us begin. Okay, to install single player commands, go first go to your web browser and type search for single. Let's see if I can spell single player. I can't spell today. Commands. And you'll come up with several uh, links. Click on the uh, minecraftforum.net link, which should be at the very top. And you, as you can see, this is for beta 1.6 up here in the corner. Scroll down all the way to until you see the download links. I'm going to download this one. These are both the exact same. These are all downloads for previous versions of Minecraft. So, as you can see, we have a zip folder. Just open this. I have it set as a default, so when I open it, it opens with WinRAR, which is what I will be using. Just minimize this. We can close out our web browser. And now we need to navigate to our .minecraft folder. And in case you don't know where that is, it's in your application, app data, roaming.minecraft. Um, and you, you can also search for it by just typing app data or if you're on an older version of Windows you can uh, go search uh, actually you go to your hotbar you type run uh, percent sign app data percent sign and it should take you straight to the folder okay now what we need to do is we need to go into our bin folder and we need to right click on minecraft.jar and open it with winrar Okay, I'm going to bring this to the side to make it easier to see. Now what we need to do is we need to copy all of these class files into this, into your minecraft.jar. What we do this is we're going to click on the first one. We're going to click on these. I'm just going to select all of them by doing this. So you can see I've selected every single class. The way you do this neat little trick where you skip one but you still select a bunch as you hit. Click on the first one, you can click shift, go down, hit control, click this one, and then hit, while you're still holding control, hit shift again, so you can select all of these. Click on the little icon, drag it, and, oh, wait, I forgot this step again. Before you bring any of the class files in, you need to delete your meta inf, inf folder in your minecraft.jar. Just delete it, get it out of there. Okay, now we need to copy the class folders again. Click on the icon, bring them over hit OK and now they're all brought over one way you can check to see if it works is if you scroll down you see world edit plugin then you know you've done it correctly now we can close our minecraft.jar and we can we need to go we leave we'll leave our zipped file open and this is a very important step you go into your bid and folder again I'll bring it to the side so make it easier to see and you see this world edit dot jar you need to bring this jar into the bin folder not the not the minecraft dot jar you need to bring the world edit jar into the uh, dot minecraft bin folder so we'll just drag it bring it over there now we can close out our single player command zip folder and everything should be installed correctly I'll just close this open up minecraft run Log in. I'm going to one of my single player worlds. And as you can see, if you when you start your game, if you see a little thing that says single player commands, then you know you've done it correctly. The way you can check to see if you've done world edit correctly is just type forward slash forward slash wand. Oops. And you know that world edit is also installed correctly. 
So, thanks for watching. Um, if uh, if you have any uh, known issues with installing this mod, is not putting in the world edit in correctly into the bin folder. Um, uh, not downloading the correct the up most updated version. Making sure you get all of the class files in there. Uh, running as administrator, if you for some reason can't do certain things, then you need to run certain programs as administrator, like WinRAR, for example. And I think that's it. Uh, make sure you delete your MetaInt folder. And that is really all for installing this mod. It's quite simple. So um, if you have any questions or concerns, um, you can post them in the comments, you can PM me, I will try and help you, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and bye.